Kevin's going to talk about some vocal apps for iOS, <clears throat> AUV3. Um, for vocals, you can, you know, over my years of recording, playing live and stuff like that, you don't have to really have any certain vocal plug-in, a do-it-all plug-in, a certain reverb, a certain delay or anything. You can really get a lot accomplished by finding your own style um, but some of the basics are stuff like reverb, delay, um, EQ, compression. Um, you can take vocals a little more serious <clears throat> when you get into harmonizing, uh, layering vocal tracks, um, different things like that. There's a lot of tricks to vocals besides just one certain plug-in that will do the job. But I'll give you some of my um, favorite reverbs, delays, or whatever. This first one is just uh, Bleece Reverb. It's a nice little reverb. Uh, you can bring the mix down to, you know, you don't want to just kill it with reverb, but you can bring the mix down. There's several different um, settings for some cool stuff. Uh, this is a very interesting reverb. Very simple to use. Uh, but there's a lot of reverbs and stuff. Uh, the next one would be another app by Bleece. Uh, which you can use any delay. You don't have to have a certain delay or anything like that. Um, just find the one that you like that's easiest for you to use. use, 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 use. Uh, like uh, I said, like you can set the dry and wet. Da 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 da. Let's see. I don't even know what the hell I just said, but you get the idea. That's a default setting. There's, there's a lot of cool settings on this one, too. Um, Bleece makes some really good apps. Uh, let's see, moving on. Um, sometimes I have a hard time remembering, <laughs> remembering what apps I've got on here, because if you go up here, you just get a long list um oh yes um i'm trying to think of oh four pockets make some really great apps and there's an app called um uh i forgot what it's called um uh let's see the search something vox i think it is mellavox this, this is, is a, a harmony, harmony plugin. plugin. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is, is cool, cool if you want to add harmonies. Uh, see, that's a minor. You can go chromatic. Uh, Dorian's, a bunch of scales. Four Pockets makes some really good stuff, but this is a great harmonizer. It's very quick and to the point. Um, sometimes I don't really use a harmonizer as much as I use like a um, an octave pedal maybe to drown the to to lower the pitch or raise the pitch um, stuff like that. Here is a cool app of let's see. This is an app for what is it called? Vocoding vocoder. It's like a vocoder app. So that's a vocoder app. Uh, you didn't get any audio because it plays through the keyboard. Um, 
let's see. Uh, oh, another great app that I recently got here uh, in the last few weeks probably is the. Uh, it's like a vocal and delay together. The uh, P nine thirty Lunar Lander. This, this is a pretty, is a pretty amazing, amazing app, app for. for uh, there's a whole bunch of settings in here. Uh, I haven't really even had the time to go through all of them. Um, here's a vocal preset for reverb. La la la. But you just have to go through. This thing is freaking crazy. Um, you get delay and reverb. I'm honestly not doing it any justice at all. Um, let's kill out some of these apps. Uh, let's move over to another channel. Uh, now, some apps we can use. Let me delete that channel. Okay, some apps you can use to not just effects, but like um, enhancement tools. Uh, Channel channel strips, compressors, uh, stuff like that. I'm looking for a certain one by Audio Damage. I really like Audio Damage. They're really good. Here's a channel strip. Yeah. You can add highs, uh, lows. Um, I'm not sure if there's any... Presets. This is mostly pretty cut and dry. Threshold, attack, release, uh, ratio for compression, output gain, input gain. Um, without, with. It, it's very, uh, you can get really low, 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 low. Bring in the mids if you need to bring in the mids. The frequencies. Um... That's bypassed. That's on. Um, you can take out the lows. You can do something crazy like this to where you bring up the highs only. Uh, you can do various things. You, maybe you don't need a compressor. Um, I don't know. I mean, these are enhancers, so you kind of got to take it for what it's worth. It just kind of smooths out <clears throat> some of the some of the various settings um uh there's a tone booster enhancer um which kind of is like a stereo widener i've had this one probably on a couple of different videos um go through here and find like a wide enhancer this is without this is with it just gives it a little bit of spice. Um, let's see, more enhancers. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, M Master Plan. I really like this one. I actually had this on a VST, which was very good for mastering. It obviously uses a lot of juice but you can widen the spread uh, that one there needs probably a little bit more work getting it a little less powerful in the uh, in the mix um, another one is um, let's see Oh yeah, smash. This is a good compressor. It really smashes it. Um, of course you can use wet and dry. You don't have to, you can bring it up to where you can get that little bit of gate going, a little bit of saturation going. Um, then this to me, it's got a lot of presets to it. Uh, it can get crazy, but just something you have to control, but that's a really good one. <clears throat> and then, um, 
The last one here is um, final grand finale. Um, I use this one a lot for mastering, but it's also good for vocals. Um, bringing out the vocals with the uh, multiband compression, equalization. Um, you know, you can use it subtle. Um, you can get some very unique sounds out of it. Uh, it's got a width, EQ. You can add saturation, compression, even a little bit of distortion. And it seems to be pretty good with uh, the power. You know, it's not, it's not a heavy BST-like master plan. Anyway, those are just a few. But um, I think a good honorable mention here, which is a crazy reverb and delay, which uh, audio damage... EOS 2 and other desert cities is really great. Um, audio kit, rack reverb, just a simple free reverb, I believe it is. Uh, then you've got stuff that I, I also use stuff like this, like this on, guitar, on guitar, but it does great, great for, for vocals. vocals. Um, um, you can you bring can it bring down it down and get some very interesting thing that's going with windows here, here with, 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 with something, something like, like that. that um i mean pretty much anything but there's this one reverb that i really like um it's it's this one here um this is an amazing reverb you can bring the mix down to fit it in but uh, I think there's even a little bit of delay on here. Uh, you can get some very interesting sounds out of this. Um, they also have a delay. Um, which, let's bring in the delay. I don't want the video to be too long. But when it comes to vocals, you can, like I said, you can use anything you want on vocals um nothing is really set in stone yeah my 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 i like using these two together for some very unique and interesting sounds this is it by itself I really like how it changes things up. Special effects. Now, another one that I'd like to say, uh, a good honorable mention here, uh, as far as like um, vocal technique, that I think is very unique in its own way, <laughs> is... I think it's going to be, oh, it's going to be an inner app audio. Um, it's going to be, I'm not even sure what I have it under. Um, hmm. Fieldscaper. Okay. So this one here, you can record something in. This is a crazy day. So I just recorded that in, and then you can add effects. Crazy day. But I think this is a really cool one. <laughs> if you just want to get really crazy. Anyway. Those are some cool effects for vocals or anything, actually. And I'm sure there's a lot of other ones out there that I haven't even discovered. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, just play. Get something accomplished. <laughs> I hope my videos are getting a little bit better. Anyway, I appreciate it.